Ah, welcome to Perry Grove. Uh, Perry Grove is a traditional English estate railway. Uh, it's based on a 22-acre site in the Forest of Dean in Gloucestershire. Uh, the railway was built in 1996. Uh, it was not a railway beforehand. It's based on an old farm. Lots of our old farm buildings are still here and converted. Uh, this building we're in now is our engine shed, and this was a new building. Next door is our workshop, which was a, an old tractor barn. The station was a hay barn, uh, and I live in the dairy next door. The principles of an estate railway is that the railway is as small as is practical to be of real use. It's not a toy railway. These engines are a fine example of a traditional English estate railway. Um, this one, Spirit of Adventure, and this one here, and whilst new build for a tourist railway of this nature, could easily have been found hauling coal or stone or, or other garden produce around a large country estate. Lydia is the biggest engine at Perigrove. She was built around 11 years ago and was designed specifically for this railway. She's a very modern steam engine, roller bearings replacing traditional bronze bearings and other modern attachments making it a very efficient machine. She's an example of what could have been had steam survived much longer through the years. The railway is now a tourist railway and we open to the public four days a week all year round uh, and daily in school holidays. It's primarily aimed at the family market. There's much more than a railway here at Perigrove. There are tree houses, treasure hunts, indoor playgrounds, outdoor playgrounds and woodland walks and all manner of other activities. We run a number of special events a year, again, mostly aimed at the family market, but one or two enthusiast events as well. One of our most popular events is our Vintage Working Weekend, where we run as many engines as is possible, and often with visiting engines, and we run real goods trains. We load logs onto the train, bring them down the line, unload them with a vintage steam crane, put them onto saw benches, cut the wood with steam, process the timber and it goes back off on the railway again. And we're one of the only railways in the country to actually offer real working actual goods trains rather than just demonstrations. The railway is three quarters of a mile in length and passes through four stations. The scenery changes a lot. We pass through meadows and woods, up on embankments and through cuttings. And it's a surprisingly long journey for three quarters of a mile. The railway has some very steep gradients, making it interesting to the enthusiast, with very sharp curves, and it goes up as steep as 1 in 26 in places, so the engines certainly have to work hard to get their trains up the line. We tend to run at around 8 miles an hour, so it's not very fast, and a round trip can take about 25 minutes. Each of the stations leads to a different part of the site. Here at Perigrove Station, the main place to start your journey, we also have an indoor village and a children's playground in our treetop adventure. Our main carriage sheds, engine sheds and workshops are also here. Further up the line is our marquee site. We often run special events here, including many weddings, and we're a very unusual wedding venue in that you have to catch the train to get married. At the top of the line, at Oak Iron Station, is our large undercover playground at Foxy Hollow. It's also where most people start their woodland walks from, and a lot of the clues for our treasure hunt is all, are also to be found in this area. The railway was originally built by Michael and Francis Crofts back in the mid-1990s. They had moved from central London to escape the rat race. I was fortunate to be asked to come and become the manager of the railway back in 2011 for them, and after a couple of years, um, it was quite apparent that they wanted to take more of a back seat. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to be asked to buy the railway. And now uh, myself and my wife and our two children live on site. And it's very much a way of life. It's our home. We just share our garden with about 30,000 people a year. So this engine next to me is Anne, uh, originally built in 2004 by the Exmoor Steam Railway um, for Longleat Safari Park. 
Um, at the end of its use at Longleat after 10 years, we were fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time uh, and we bought the engine, brought it back to Perigrove and it's had a full rebuild uh, and is now a regular part of our fleet. You'll notice the unusual colour, she's actually Cadbury purple. Uh, we wanted an engine that was a little bit different and would stand out uh, and get people talking and it, it certainly achieved that. Uh, the engine is privately owned by one of our volunteers um, and is here on a, on a rolling 10-year loan agreement uh, and we're very lucky to have her. Uh, this is Spirit of Adventure. She was actually our very first engine. Uh, she was built for Michael and Francis who built the railway actually before they found a place to build Perigrove. So she was actually built in 1994 but Perigrove did not exist until 1996, hence her name, Spirit of Adventure. They were really leaping into the unknown at that time. SUNY is our little small American outline engine. As you can see, she's much smaller than the other engines and only comes out on special occasions. She's a model of an American switching engine from the far west uh, and is a firm favourite amongst uh, both my family and our regular customers. My eight-year-old son is quite attached to it now. You'll note that SUNY running today is pulling a wagon and we're just offering wagon rides. This is typical of an estate railway wagon for moving stone or coal or garden produce around the line. Perigrove also have an assortment of other carriages and wagons, most of which come out at various times throughout the year and are used for our maintenance activities when we are closed.